Hey, what's up guys? I'm out running errands today and uh, just doing a little shopping, getting my car washed, you know. I got a date tomorrow night. So anyway, I'm listening to Wake Up, It's Feeding Time by Ryback Reeves. And uh, it's pretty interesting so far. He's talking a lot about nutrition, stuff like that. And, and one of the things that he's talking about is uh, the importance of having a cheat day or a cheat meal. And... I used to listen to his podcast all the time. He used to talk about that a lot. And the funny thing is, is when he used to talk about having a cheat day or a cheat meal, uh, when I was first listening to his podcast, he was really heavily into keto. And uh, after I got into keto myself, I was like, what the fuck? He, like, he must have never actually been into, in ketosis because if you have a cheat day on keto, like it'll throw you out of fucking ketosis. And then like the whole science of the diet, like just goes out the fucking window. And then it takes anywhere between like two to four days to even two weeks to get back into ketosis sometimes. So like having a cheat day, if you're doing keto, is just not fucking worth it. But when I used to do, um, another, you know, method I used to use to lose weight, uh, is uh, calories in calorie calories out where you just basically count your calories and you take in less calories than you burn in a day. Right. And then you, you lose weight. And on on that, you can pretty much eat anything you want as long as you stay under your calorie count number. And so, like, having a cheat day or a cheat meal is, like, really good mentally, I felt. But uh, I read another book called uh, Alpha 2.0 Engineering the Alpha, I think it is. Or Man 2.0 Engineering the Alpha, that's what it is. And <clears throat> that book says that, uh, si like, studies have shown that doing a cheat day though is, is just bad <laughs> it's just not a good idea to do it really like fucks up your like your whole process of losing weight so um so anyways there's lots of like you know just like any fucking diet there's a lot of uh oh this is better this is a good thing this is not a good thing i agree with this i don't agree with this you know uh, really if you you know you got to find out what works for you and then just fucking stick with it. So if a cheat day helps you, I say, great, fucking do it. Doesn't work on keto, but if you're doing any other kind of diet, you know, it's probably not that big of a deal. If you're not doing any other type of ketosis type diet, right? Like carnivore is a ketosis type diet. Uh, paleo is is kind of a ketosis like diet. It can be, um, you know, so if like, if, if there's, if you're not doing any kind of diet like that, you're just doing like a calories in calories out, or you're just trying to like eat clean or something like a whole 30, you know, then like a cheat meal is good. Um, on keto, what I tend to do, cause I will do a cheat meal, but I just really plan it out. Right. Like on a birthday, I'm like, all right, this day months ahead, I'm going to have a cheat meal on that day. And then I do, then I'm good for another couple months, you know, like, you know, and then maybe like, okay, Thanksgiving, you know, there's no ketosis. There's no keto on Thanksgiving or Christmas. There's no keto on Christmas, but every other fucking day I'm going to do a, a really good job. So I'll have cheat meals, but there's like, they're very few and far between when I'm doing keto. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments.